YouTube family. So welcome to day eight of Lisa's 14 days of self-love. Um, I ain't feeling it today, y'all. I'm not feeling it today. Um, I had a very challenging day today, just mentally, emotionally. I'm just not here for it. Like, <laughs> not. I really didn't even want to record this video tonight, but I really wanted to be intentional because I know some of y'all probably look forward to my videos and I want to stay on task. So my apologies i'm going to honor my feelings and put myself first to know that this is not going to be all night it might be a short quick video but I, what, what i wanted to talk about today is kind of like self-compassion what we talked about last night part two and what to do when you're having a bad day so like i told you today was very challenging and so i felt like all day i was just holding it all in because i just wanted to cry like i felt I feel like overwhelmed, like mentally and emotionally, like just about everything. Okay. And so when I got home, it was just like, I was still trying to hold it together. Cause I'm like talking to myself, like, Oh, this is going to be okay. You know, everything's going to work out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just trying to play like you strong, you strong. And I just want y'all to know that it's okay to let it out. It's okay to cry. And I think this it's crazy because we just talked about self-compassion last night and I was challenged today, even tonight. Like, Lisa, why are you trying to be hard? Like, why are you trying to hold it all in and just act like this don't bother you? Like, just recognize your feelings. So, at that start trying to be like, tough it up, you know, because sometimes we tell ourselves, man, toughen up. Like, it's not that serious or it's not that deep. When you're having a bad day, or if you feel like you've been holding it in, I'm telling you now, just go ahead and get it out. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to give, if you need to scream, do that. Just don't just don't hit nobody. Don't harm nobody, okay? Don't do that. But let out your feelings in a healthy way. Whatever you have to do, if you have to write them down. And so after I stopped trying to hold it in, I said, you know what? I just, I just started crying. And you know what? That was a good cry because I haven't had a good cry like that in a while. And I, and I think I needed that for myself. And so after I cried, I was like, you know, I had to show compassion to myself and not feel bad about what I'm going through. Like I had to be kind and say kind words to myself. And normally in the past, if I wasn't doing a self love, I'd probably be really beating myself up, like still, like right now. But, you know, I had to tell myself, and you can do this on a bad day, have your moment, cry, scream, yeah, when you do, but encourage yourself, be like, you know what, it's okay. I get it. I understand. It's okay. Everything's going to work out. It's going to get better. It's okay that you did that. It's okay if you made a mistake. And just really be kind to yourself. And I started to think about how I would talk to a best friend or my sister or my mom if they called me crying upset about something. Would I be mean to them and say, you need to get it together. You need to toughen up. Like, it's your fault. Yep, it's your fault. It's the reason why you're there. Like, when people call you crying, they won't console me. They're not looking for that tough love right then. I, I can speak for myself. I know I'm not. I mean, you can give me tough love later, but in the moment, I need to somebody to console me. So, I had to think about, okay, Lisa, don't be hard on yourself. Show yourself compassion. Like, what would you say to your best friend or to your mom or to your sister? So, I was like, you know what? I kind of told, affirmed myself and told myself those words. And surprisingly, it made me feel a little bit better. And then, so after that, after that, I said, you know what? I'm going to allow myself to have, I had a plan. I said, okay, I'm going to allow myself to feel how I need to feel right now. Cry if I need to cry. Write down my emotions, write down my feelings on how I need to feel right now because I need to get it out on paper. If I need to talk out loud to myself, I need to do that. So when you're having a bad day, do that. But make a plan. Don't stay there all night. Don't stay there all day. But okay, I'm going to have to. 15, 20 minutes, maybe it's an hour. You know how you tell your kids, I'm putting you in time out. Put yourself in time out. If that time out need, means five minutes, if it means 30 minutes, if it means an hour, two hours, but try not to make it too long. Allow yourself to be in that moment. And then your plan is, after you've had your, okay, so the plan is, after you've had that time out, What's your plan after your time out? So I had to think, okay, I'm going to be in my feelings. I'm going to cry about it. I'm going to talk myself out. I'm going to journal how I feel. Okay, so what's going to be the next plan of action after this? Because you can't stay here. You can't stay here, sis. So you say, you know what? 
I'm gonna go get in that word. No, first, no, no, yeah, that's what I did. First, I got in that word and I started reading my Bible app. And then, you know, I just prayed. And then after that, I turned on some worship music. And that just really uplifted me because I had a plan of action. Like, I allowed myself to feel how I'm feeling, but I also had a plan of action afterwards of not staying, staying there. So, Yours might be different. Yours might be, your plan of action might be you allow yourself to be in your feelings and maybe you go do something you enjoy. Maybe you go for a walk. Maybe you go listen to some soothing jazz music or maybe you go paint your toenails. Whatever it is for you, have a plan of action after you have that moment. And you will feel a lot better now. Sometimes you might not be 100% because it takes time. And I know I'm still kind of like, a little uh but you know what i'm about to do i'm about to go to bed because sometimes you just need some sleep okay you just need to go to bed and stop thinking about it because it's like if you didn't do everything you can do you only can control what you can control okay at the end of the day so that's all i want to encourage y'all for tonight and um and i gave myself grace because i was like you know, it's okay, Lisa. Like, give yourself grace. And another reason is I wanted to be consistent and I wanted to post this video. But me pouring back into myself because I know I can't pour from the empty cup. I did have intentions on going live tonight, but I don't have the energy for live. I don't have the energy to go live tonight. So I said I'm going to record this quick video to put up and just let y'all know that, you know, it's okay. We all going through the same things. We all struggle. We sometimes don't have good days. And look, tomorrow is a new day. If the Lord wake me up tomorrow, tomorrow is a new day. Okay? So, that's what I wanted to say tonight. Um, and I will see y'all on day nine. Thank y'all for watching. Bye. Sorry I'm so dry. I'll be back. <laughs>